Hey guys, Jacob Wallace, ABC Window Clean Supply. Today we're going to talk about some do's and don'ts for rope grabs. Let's dive in. All right, first of all, let's talk about some important do's with your rope grabs. Number one, make sure to read the instruction manual that comes with your device. It's going to include important information about how to use it, and it's going to include some important information about limitations of that specific device. Very important to know. Do number two. Make sure that you're using your rope grab with a compatible lanyard and compatible rope. For example, you want to make sure if you've got a 7 16 inch device that you're using it with 7 16 inch rope. Otherwise, it may not operate properly. Number three, it's always a good idea to minimize your fall distance. Rope grabs may be rated for a certain fall distance with certain lanyards, but as a best practice, you want to keep your rope grab as high as possible. That way, if you're to undergo a fall, you'll experience a minimum of force on your body. Whereas if you lower the device as far as you can, you're now increasing your total fall distance, increasing the force that you're going to undergo during the fall. Number four, whenever possible, it's a good idea to drop proof your device. Many devices, such as the Camp Goblin, have an attachment point on them where you can put some accessory cord. That way, while I'm removing it to you know, take it off a rope or put it on a rope, if I'm to drop it, it's still attached. I can simply pick it back up, attach it to my rope, clip on and I'm good to go. No harm, no foul. Other devices, such as the MIO rope grab, have an attached lanyard, so they're already automatically drop proof, even as I take them apart to put them on the rope. Number five, always make sure to follow the manufacturer's guidelines for their inspection criteria. Manufacturers should include a list of things to check for on the device every time you inspect it. As soon as the device fails inspection, it's time to retire it, remove it from service, and get it replaced. Next, let's talk about some important don'ts with rope grabs. The most important thing you want to keep in mind is where you're grabbing the device. Now, there's a few things that you don't want to do with any rope grab. You never want to be holding the rope above the device. Many devices are defeated by you grabbing above it and then sliding down in case you were to start falling in panic. Also, you generally don't want to grab the device itself to move it. With devices like this, I can hold it open and if I start to fall in panic, I'll hold it open as I start to fall. And then the rope grab is not going to engage. Instead, when you're moving the device, you generally want to grab the lanyard attached to it. So if I grab the lanyard and lift it to start moving the device down, if I were to fall, I'll pull the lanyard down and engage the device. Secondly, it may sound silly, but you want to make sure that you don't put the device on the rope upside down. Rope grabs that are put on ropes upside down do not engage and don't work at all. Many devices will actually have up printed on them, so pay attention to that. And even if you have a device that doesn't have that printed, make sure that you're very familiar with how it works and that you know how to put it on right side up. Lastly, you should never use a device after it's taken a fall. If somebody's fallen on it, you may not be able to tell during inspection, so it's very important that it's taken out of service immediately so that no one else can use it. Well, there were a few important safety tips. Hopefully they'll help you out with your use of rope grabs. If there's anything that you think we missed, any other tips that you have, please share them in the comments. We'd love to hear them. And if you thought this video was pretty cool, we make lots more just like it, so make sure to subscribe. You can also check us out on social media. We're always giving stuff away, and we're just really cool people, so join us over here. We hope to see you soon, and thanks for watching.